All right, so one of the questions that I get quite a lot is, you know, how do I care for my skin? How do I care for my hair? How do I stay clean? How do I, um, do I use shampoo? Do I use soap? Do I use, what kind of products do I use to stay clean? Uh, Karen wanted to know, you know, she said, you've got nice hair, thank you. What's your secret? How often do you wash it? With what products, cutting? So that's what I'd like to talk about today a little bit. And uh, just to give you a shocker, I have not washed my hair in like seven years. So my view, just in a nutshell, just without really getting deep into it, my view of health is that it is the natural state. And when I think of the word clean, I typically think of nature. I think of a forest. I mean, that's that's clean to me. Uh, that's clean air, you know, in the, in the mountains. The mountains are, are clean. They're healthy. When I think of dirty, I think of, sure, I think of a city. I think of, of, uh, of, of disease and that sort of thing, pollution. But I also think of harmful chemicals, chemicals that are uh, toxic to humans. Uh, so the truth is that the stuff in shampoos and soaps of various sorts and lotions and that sort of thing, the stuff in there is quite often fairly toxic to the human body. And I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily a good thing to use those products. That being said, though, the question is still, do we really need them? I mean, do the mountains need <laughs> to be cleansed, to be cleaned, except for the rain and the sun? No, not really. And the forest? No, not really. Anim animals, I mean, all the animals in nature, they don't have shampoo. They don't have comps. They 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 stu they do sort of uh, groom themselves somewhat though. Of course, they do. You know, they go clean themselves. They 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 stay clean. They have a cleanliness sort of um, instinct. But it's a natural thing. It's it's an effortless kind of thing, uh, as opposed to us humans. I and mean, think about it. We humans, we we're so strange. We we think we have to go into the shower every day and scrub ourselves down with these artificial chemicals, uh, synthetic stuff, uh, to scrub off all the dirt, all the, all the nastiness. And if we don't shower every day, then we're, we're dirty and we're nasty. What? I mean, did we evolve for millions of years on this planet only to reach a point where finally, finally, we can get clean now that we've invented soap and, and shampoo? Definitely not. So I, I think that if we're living healthfully, including a good diet, especially, because a bad diet will make you stink, you know, eating meats and animal products, people that do that, they stink and their poop stinks. And they, yeah, they, they feel like they have to shower every day just to stay clean. Well, in reality, no matter how much they shower, they're still dirty for it because it's sort of oozing from their inside. So a good diet, a good lifestyle, a good healthy habit, uh, that means you're clean. Now, particularly, how do I do it though? Well, I think, I think, you know, water is a good mechanical cleanser, you know, so washing yourself with water, showering every now and then. Probably, I don't think, literally, I don't think it's necessary though to shower more than once a week. Uh, maybe twice if you want to, I guess. Even every day if you want to, if it's just a relaxed sort of, I enjoy taking a shower. But you don't have to take a shower every day. And I think even if you didn't take a shower for like a month, it probably wouldn't be a problem. I've done that several times. I don't smell bad. I've asked people about it because I, I really sincerely want to know, do I smell bad? No, I don't smell bad even after a month of not showering. It's just, I stay clean. And then one of the things that I also do to stay clean is that I expose myself to sunlight. And sunlight is, an, is a powerful cleansing agent, actually. You know, UV radiation is used to sterilize stuff. Uh, equipment at hospitals and dentists, they use UV, UV light to sterilize. So exposing yourself to strong sunlight, especially in the tropics, you know, that's, that's a potent way to cleanse your body and actually, actually penetrates through your skin and cleanses your blood even, I've heard. So basically just not using clothing too much, being out in nature, uh, swimming in rivers, whatever, uh, and exposing yourself to sunlight on a regular basis, that's, that's a good way to stay clean. Of course, here in Norway, I don't expose myself, especially now as going towards autumn, I'm not, I'm not getting as much sunlight and it's probably better than to focus more on the water and cleansing. 
But, but that's it though, that's what I consider a clean lifestyle. Eating healthy, taking a shower, getting some sunshine, that's fresh air, that, that's it really. When it comes to products, I don't use anything. I don't use anything at all. I mean, I do use some toothpaste sometimes and, and um, what else? If I, if, I, you know, if I fixed my bike and have oil all over my fingers, I might use some soap. But other than that, I don't use anything really. In terms of my hair, I have not put any shampoo in my hair for, I don't know, even five, six, seven, eight years, something like that. I can't even remember. Uh, it's just something I wouldn't do at all. I mean, my hair, obviously, to most people would, would say my hair looks dirty anyway because I, uh, I don't comb it. So it just dreads up and I get, you know, I get dreadlocks forming and that sort of thing. Uh, and people think that's dirty and I, I don't think so at all. I mean, again, I've asked people to smell my hair and be honest with me, like, does my hair smell bad What's at all? And they all say, no, it does not smell bad. It smells fine, even though I haven't washed it in ages. Um, I think just getting water in your hair is enough, just like all the animals in nature. I mean, you, they don't need soap to stay clean. Uh, you got to redefine your definition of cleanliness, I think. That's what really you got to do if you're sort of wondering whether or not to use shampoo. I think it's detrimental to the hair to use shampoo. Uh, it actually damages the hair uh, over time. You're better off not using it. When you stop using shampoo, though, there's a period of adaption. Your scalp and stuff will have a period where it sort of adapts to it. But that, that takes a few weeks or months even, but then, then you're fine. Uh, my hair is super healthy. Um, strong and if Matt Mads is here he calms his hair a little bit so he actually has more beautiful hair you could say and people actually comment on his hair saying like oh my god you got so nice hair and the same with him he doesn't use shampoo at all so it's just a matter of calming or not calming whether or not your hair looks frizzy and crazy like mine or or his which is like straight so although I don't recommend necessarily needing shampoo to wash your hair it's a good idea to just use water how often I don't know, probably not more than once a week though. I don't know, I think it kind of probably is not the best for the hair. You're washing away the grease a little bit and your hair should be, not greasy, but it should be, you know, not completely dry either. So, I don't know, once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, washing your hair with just water, it's probably a good idea. Or not, or not though. I've gone for six months without having water in my hair. No problem. I'll probably cut my hair at one point again. I don't know how I'm going to do it with cutting. I think it's just up to you whether you want to cut often or never and let it dread up and just become a big mess, uh, so to speak. Whatever you prefer, I don't think that affects your health overall. Skincare, same thing. Why would you need to care for your skin? I mean, if, you, if you're taking in the nutrients you need, your skin is nourished from the blood, from the inside out. You don't need to apply something on top of the skin to nourish it. Uh, I mean, I got great skin. It's difficult to see on the camera, obviously, but my skin is great, uh, except for some minor uh, issues on my back. Actually, I have some acne, but I actually think that is a result of me eating some cooked food, actually, seriously. I, I'm, when I was eating all raw, just fruit, I did not have acne on my back. And after I, eated, after I included some cooked sweet potatoes, I started having acne. So I'm thinking that's the culprit. I don't know. But uh, generally speaking, a fruit-based diet, a fruit diet especially, an all-fruit diet will, you know, your skin will just be so smooth and nice. You have no idea if you haven't tried it. So uh, no need for lotions, no need for anything like that. Yeah, it's so easy, it's so simple. So no, I don't use shampoo. No, I don't use soap. No, I don't use lotion. I, I shower once a week to once every two weeks, sometimes even once a month. I um, sunbathe, I stay active, I eat a fresh, clean diet consisting of mainly fruit, no sort of stuffy, I don't know, like I avoid garlic and things that sort of make me stink and not because it makes me stink, but because it has negative effects on my health overall. Just. Clean living, that's what it's all about. Clean living results in a clean body and there's no need to actually add products into your life that will enhance your cleanliness. They will actually only do the other, the opposite. They will not enhance your cleanliness, they will make you more dirty. When you take a clean body and you put 
toxic chemicals in your hair, you're not making yourself more clean. You're making yourself dirty. You're making yourself take a step towards unclean. So there's no, se no secret to it. There's no magic to it other than the natural magic of life itself. Good hair, good skin results from good living habits and good eating habits and good cleanliness, real cleanliness. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this topic. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. We make videos about health, fruit-based nutrition, freedom, life, traveling, some things like that, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. So thanks again. Hope you're having a good day and I'll see you around.